<laughs> What's up, everyone? Um, I feel like I haven't been doing these videos as frequently as I hoped. Anyways, I just wanted to go over a, uh, a topic that a lot of people, I think, there's a misconception about in uh, weight training. Um, that's what I love. When you ask me anything about fitness and everything, let me see if I can set this down. Uh, when you ask me anything about fitness, let's see how that works. When you ask me anything about fitness, I love weight training. I think weight training is a, um, the more muscle you have, the more fat you can burn. So I am 100% for weight training. Uh, cardio works. I, I prefer HIIT cardio, which is high intensity interval training. You just do short bursts of really intense cardio, and that's actually been proven to be the most uh, uh, effective form of cardio. But I love weight training. I think there's nothing better than uh, building lean muscle mass because the more lean muscle mass you have, the less fat that. So, but anyways. Uh, back to the uh, the misconception. A lot of people have asked me, particularly women, but men same as well, have asked me saying, "Well, Michael, what what should I do? Should I do more reps and light weight so I can burn more fat, or should I do heavy weights and lower reps?" And the truth is. They both work. That's the truth. The truth is they both work. The point of weightlifting is progressive overload. And when you do progressive overload, that means you're progressively overloading your muscles. And, and you're getting stronger over time. Sorry, man. Look at my nose. Anyways. Um, ooh, I think my burgers. I gotta flip those. Anyways. Um, but that's, that's the common misconception. Both of those work. If, 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 if you want to do four sets or three sets of uh, making my burgers. Sorry, I get really distracted. That's okay. Um, but if you want to do three sets of 16, that's great. If you want to do... Man, this is the one to say again. If you want to do... Uh, well, let's try this one right here. Ah, whatever. If you want to do eight reps of, you know, with, with that, or four sets of eight, I mean, and do heavier weight, that's okay too. Like, there's nothing wrong with that. So I just wanted to go over this real quick because that misconception that a lot of people think that a lot of people think that you have to do lighter weight and higher reps in order to lose fat and that's not the case it really isn't there is no at the end of the day you are still overloading your muscles the rep range i would stay out of is anything under eight stay if anything under eight reps you want to stay away from so make the if make the weight heavy enough there's mosquitoes that's what i see jesus um, make the weight heavy enough to where eight reps is what you can get. That's the lowest. I would say max reps. I would probably do no more than twenty. You know, but but I would. That's what I would do. When, when they say weights make you bulky, they're talking about doing like five sets of three and just as heavy as you can get. Now that might be a little stupid. I'm just gonna be real, but. The truth is, guys, weight training, that is where it's at. That is what will make you lean. You ladies will not get bulky. I'm going to do a video about women and being bulky, and, and we're going to go over this. But weight training, ladies, does not make you bulky. Even when you lift heavy, it does not make you bulky. You don't have the hormones to produce to make you bulky. So that's all i got to say. Um, I'm about to... Watch Extreme Weight Loss with Whitney. We're going to eat some turkey burgers and some protein shakes. And that's what's for dinner. So, anyways, uh, appreciate you guys watching and subscribing. And 
Until next time, peace.